We're kicking it off with the latest trend in fashion. Cosmopolitan reports that tennis outfits are everywhere on or off the court. Tennis skirts and polos are the latest look for spring. Ross, could you get into this look? Well, not the skirt. I don't think I can pull it off. But uh, I, I love this look. And uh, even, you know, in Palm Springs, shorter shorts for men, too, are all the rage. And I, um, I think it's cute. I can get behind it. I grew up in the era of dolphin shorts, like AKA picture Richard Simmons, because he pretty much cornered the market on them. No, describe a dolphin short. It's a short. It's like, um, they're basically. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's shocking any man can keep their package in them, <laughs> is what you need to know. They're this short, and then they have like a little cutout yeah. here, so they sort of like flap. Yeah. The first time I saw one was in a pair of dolphin shirts. Really? Just, oh, yeah. Uh-oh. I telling you. But Flipper they, escaped. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's what they look like. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's sort of taking this, like, athleisure thing that we've really embraced during, you know, the pandemic where, and, and taking it to the next level. You're right. Like, where does athleisure go from here? Mm -hmm. And I think the whole tennis thing is super cute. Never mind. I can pull off the skirt. All right. All right. Hey, hey question. Have you ever stayed up late watching, like, Netflix? or reading uh, news on your phone when you know very well you should be sleeping like a lamb. Well, there is a name for that, and it's called revenge bedtime procrastinating. And HuffPost reports, we do it when our days are so busy that we're fighting for some leisure time at night. It is an act of revenge to get more time for yourself. But the byproduct of this cycle is that we're all warmed over piles of mud the next morning because we've just stayed up when we should be sleeping. But there is, and I know you've done it too, where you are just like, this is my time. I'm gonna read the stories I want. I'm gonna play the game I want, check the Instagram I want. Do you do it? I am so guilty of this that I was actually shocked we haven't had this conversation sooner, that, like that it's only now getting a name because like this is something we do. And if you're a parent, also, it's like when your kids finally go to sleep, you're like, oh, I need to live an entire lifetime. Yeah. And then you're exhausted the next day, lather, rinse, repeat. But don't you think that there's something healthy about it too? Sure, you shouldn't do it every night so you're exhausted, but I think it is important to take carve out a little time to do the frivolous stuff that just feeds your mind and your soul. Check that Instagram you love, do the thing. I, I think there's value in it. Do you mind telling me that tomorrow morning when I show up at work haggard from a <laughs> night of scrolling? Yeah, I'll be like, oh, looks like you had some you time last night. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true though. And you're right, I'm gonna have your inner dialogue in my head rather than mine. Yours is much nicer. You just do a little balance, like just enough and All then right. hit the hay. Ross, yeah. do you remember what you ate on your first date with Wellington? Uh, yeah, we were in Mexico, and so we went to get tacos. We met in the pool and then had lunch and got tacos. Oh, Isn't that that's cute? so romantic. Yeah. It makes me hungry, too. I know. Um, interesting. <laughs> okay, well, let's analyze that data. So what? Best Life reports a new survey claims that what you ate on your first date could be a predictor of the likelihood of your divorce. What? What do they say about tacos? Uh, you're good. Okay. <laughs> they surveyed 5,364 people who had been married and hilariously say if you had Indian food for dinner, you're doomed. Excuse me? And first daters who dined on samosas and naans had a 67% chance of divorce. You know what that is? Divorce. That's a non-issue. <laughs> <laughs> a non-starter. Starter, yeah. <laughs> First daters who went with some steak and potatoes, American fare, if you will, had a 59% divorce well, rate. They, they had a beef with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Totes. And so those who went for Chinese food were at a 55% divorce rate. Uh -huh. I mean, what? Okay, the, the, I, this is just coinky dink, don't you think? There's, there's nothing to this. Well, I, Indian and Chinese are two of my favorite foods, and I've been divorced three times. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Just like hearing this and being superstitious, will you go on a first date and get non? Well, I never have to get married again, so sure. Understood. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. It's, it's nonsense. <laughs> Oh, come on. I live to make you proud. That was great. <laughs>